How's it going guys? My name is Mike and this is the Looter's Guide to Vladoff Weaponry. This is going to be like a general overview of the weapon company Vladoff inside of Borderlands 1 and 2. But since Borderlands 1 is kind of outdated now, we're just going to throw it out the window. We're talking about Borderlands 2 since it just got released a few days ago. If you don't know, there are 8 weapon companies in Borderlands 2. And they're not just for show, they each have their own specific traits to them. So when you pick up a Vladoff gun, you're not going to particularly get the same thing as a Hyperion gun, or a TDR gun, or a Bandit gun. It's all going to be a, basically different. They, they each have their own ways of making their guns, if you put it into the game's terms. So Vladoff are like those crazy badass Russians who are apparently those freedom fighters. If you saw the 50 second video made uh, upload, uploaded by Borderlands 2 official YouTube page or whatever, um, they, they uploaded that and it's like all about freedom. So, you know, when there's freedom, there's Vladoff. I, I don't know why. I mean, these are Russians, but anyways, that doesn't matter. That's just a little bit of a backstory. That's as simple as it gets. Now, essentially, they're, all of these guns have a predisposition to get, like, act like a PPSH-41. If you don't know what that is, it's a World War II gun used by the Russians in World War II. And what's great about it, and that's what makes it so different from most other guns, is that it was cheap to make. It was uh, it used pistol rounds. It was this SMG that used pistol rounds. It was nine millimeter, and it used a 71 round clip. So you had plenty of ammo. And what was great about it is it had a fast as fuck fire rate. So you got some great shit going on right there. Plus the recoil was very low. So you got a great gun that's cheap to make, easy to use, blah blah blah. Now in Borderlands 2, you're not going to find an assault rifle using pistol rounds or an SMG using pistol rounds, but you're essentially getting something similar to that. So, let's go talk about all the guns in the game. There are four types of weapons that Vladoff makes. Now, all the companies in this game don't always make every single weapon type, and that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the four ones made by Vladoff. So Vladoff is a big fan of assault rifles, but they also make pistols, rocket launchers, and sniper rifles. Those are the only things they make. They, they do not make SMGs or shotguns. So Vladoff assault rifles, like I said, were kind of the big star when you buy a Vladoff gun. What they usually carry on them is, like I said earlier, high fire rate, pretty accurate, uh, more volume in bullets. You want, you know, as many bullets out as possible. It's not about the damage. You're going to find lower damage in these assault rifles, and that's fine because it does the, it does its job in many other ways. If you like to have accuracy and fire rate, this is the gun for you. And that's kind of how Vladoff imagines their their guns. So Vladoff pistols are really unique. You know, there's a lot of pistols in this game. There's the Jacobs, uh, I think Malawan. You know, there's a lot of companies make pistols. Most of them are, you know, like the Jacobs. They shoot these little six shooters, like the Cowboys or something, which is awesome. They do a lot of damage, but the fire rate isn't too great. It sometimes isn't accurate. What's great about Vladoff pistols is you're essentially getting a mini machine gun, but you're not even wasting your assault rifle ammo or whatever. It's great because you are using pistol rounds, which pistols aren't too important in this game, but if you run out of ammo with your assault rifle, you now have a, basically another assault rifle ready to shoot with different bullets. They have pretty decent accuracy. For the most part, it's around the 90% mark. Uh, damage, you could, I mean, it depends on what you find. If you find some good loot, you can get some high damage pistols. Usually, they're moderate damage. They're not too high, sometimes low low to moderate. And uh, sometimes you find element, elementals on them. And this is essentially what you're going to find with every Vladoff gun that you pick up. With anything, rocket launchers, sniper rifles, anything, you're going to you're gonna find high fire rate, low damage, high accuracy, lots of extended mags, <laughs> and, you know, other stuff like that. It, it's, it's, it's a really unique trait about Vladoff. Now, when it comes to rocket launchers, you're going to find that a lot of these rocket launchers are designed to save you money. And what I'm talking about is that when you fire a, a Vladoff rocket launcher, it might say you have six shots remaining, but really you might be getting eight because it likes to save ammo. So sometimes if you fire, you're going to get two shots out of that one rocket, which is really awkward and makes no sense at all, but it is awesome. So if you are running low on money, can't find anything better, you're going to find high fire rate with a rocket launcher, so you could spam your enemies, and you're going to save a lot of ammo on it, especially with rockets. Rockets are hard to find, and they cost a lot. And sniper rifles are the last weapon type created by Vladoff. 
Now, the characteristics of this gun are essentially the same as all the others. You're going to find pretty much the same stats. You're obviously not going to be doing the same amount of damage as an assault rifle. You're going to be doing considerably more. But what you will find is that if you're an assault sniper, if you're someone who likes to have a mix between an assault rifle and a sniper rifle, this is for you. The reason being, you're going to do a decent amount of damage to do more than an assault rifle would. And you're going to have a high fire rate, low accuracy, blah blah blah. But you're also going to be able to shoot fast enough to maintain your life. This basically provides an alternative to those who don't want to be that laid back sniper in the back of the map. You can now get close up and get personal and still do a decent amount of damage without dying. So just to sum it up, by far the biggest theme in a Vladoff weapon of any kind is fire rate. This is the best choice if you want to get as much bullets out as quick as possible. It's a great way to suppress the enemies so that they can't poke their head out without getting their head blown off. It's a great option, especially if you want to save money because when you refer to rocket launchers, you're going to be saving quite a lot. Of course, this only refers to rocket launchers because with an assault rifle, you're going to be spamming these bullets and most of them aren't even going to hit. So you got to decide if you got the extra money to spare or not. But if you're accurate enough, you're getting the same bang for your buck as someone using a Torg. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you want to see more of this, go ahead and upvote the video. And if you want to see a different gun um, in the next looter's guide, because I do plan to make a series of this, leave it in the comments and let me know if you want this to even continue. I, I, I've enjoyed making this. I made some videos like this in Modern Warfare 3, and I would like to do so for the next seven weapon companies in the game. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.